Welcome to the University of Manchester. Welcome to the School of Earth Atmospheric Environmental Sciences. Well, this school is one of the oldest schools, one of the founding schools of the University of Manchester, the Department of Geology from the very first start of the university. Founded by William Williamson, who this building that we're in is named after, and has pursued geological sciences as a research and a teaching activity ever since. We've got a huge array of environmental challenges that exist in the present day, both on a local scale and on a global scales. And so from both a research and teaching perspective, we have to meet those challenges, those challenges of nuclear waste, those challenges of energy resource, uh, hydrocarbon energies and its futures and alternative energies, and future challenges in global climate, future challenges in uh, resources in the Earth system, such as water resources and so forth. Our research covers all of those disciplines and so is meeting these very large challenges and our teaching is growing in, in those areas and we're developing our courses to meet those large challenges and our graduates can go out into the real world with those skills and the knowledge that they've developed to address these huge global issues that are in front of us. The University of Manchester has a phenomenal reputation. The Nobel Prize for Physics was just here a couple of years ago. Andre Geem's work on graphene absolutely nails the fact that this university is at the head of its game. Likewise, this department has some excellent researchers who have international reputations. And the research which they're undertaking here is absolutely top notch. And this is facilitated by the equipment that we have available to us at Manchester. From being an undergraduate to going through the first couple of years of PhD, you really feel yourself grow as a researcher. And it's, it's been a great environment here with high profile researchers working with people who lead the fields, write the textbooks. It's all really good experience and really pushes you to, to forward your career, forward your knowledge. The research in the school is really international in its breadth and scope. We've got research groups in the school who are internationally recognised and work with collaborators all around the world. We've got people that work in cloud research, research on volcanoes and the origin of gases. We've got uh, people looking at groundwater resources. So I think you can just see from that small subsection of the work we do, the international elements that we have in that. The Nuclear Environmental Sciences are part of the Dalton Nuclear Institute at the University of Manchester and the excellence of our research and teaching in the nuclear sciences has just been recognised by the Queen's Anniversary Prize Award which is for excellence in the nuclear sciences in higher education. Because we're a very research active department we have the material that we're looking at so even if people are using things like the mass spectrometers or the electron microscopes, it's all based on real objects. We have connections to the UK Met Office, the US National Weather Service, and other European forecasting agencies in getting the tools that atmospheric scientists and environmental scientists use in real life into the hands of the students, bringing our research and our innovations to these groups of people so that they can make better weather forecasts. It's essential to integrate the latest discoveries into the teaching and by having the researchers who are involved in these international programs involved in the teaching does just that. Of course we understand that when people come from overseas, Manchester is different. We try as best as we can to integrate students, uh, especially, especially students from international background, but of course we treat all students equally, but having the personal tutorial system and running the academic tutorial system through two years really gives a student a point of contact to make sure that they feel comfortable in a new environment. I was looking at the PhD course they were offering it was actually very interesting, it's, it's a very hot topic. Since Manchester is top university, I found it a good choice to go there. You know, it's, it's a very uh, prestigious university, which is really good on my CV as well. Manchester being one of the top universities, lots of companies come here on campus visits and they present 
the opportunities, graduate and undergraduate opportunities to our students. There's lots of information of how you can apply for summer placements or year-long placements or even graduate schemes. Myself, I was lucky enough to get accepted to BP to do a summer internship in reservoir engineering with them, working on the real-life projects with a team of reservoir engineers. The aspirations of this department can only be matched by the broad aspirations of the students who come here and we have to facilitate them to work within industry in the future. But we're lucky because we have so many industrial partners feeding into our programs. The students get first-hand experience to meet and talk with industrial partners and work out where maybe they will be going in their own careers.